Hello, today we're going to take you through the Easy Writer Pro Policy Editor screen. My name is Doreen Deshadas and I'm an IT Marketing and Training Specialist for QBE NAU. You access the new Policy Editor the same way that you did before, either through your agency dashboard, View Policy, or the MPCI View Policy on the Easy Writer Today screen. Type in your number. View selected, and it brings up our new policy editor. Now the first thing that you'll notice is we went to a ribbon horizontal look instead of the, the small toolbar at the very top of the screen. We now have descriptions on each one of our icons that tell you exactly what those icons are for, so you don't have to hover over them anymore. We're going to endorse out the policy so we can take a look at all the different sections that we've created and the tabs that we've created as well. So under the endorsement, you have all of the things, save, cancel, defer, that you've always been able to do for your policy. Your view entity is a bigger icon, once again, stands out a little bit more. And it also has your change party, view SBI, all of those types of actions. I really like the fact that the easy mapping icon is a lot bigger because it stands out a little bit more for you. And once again, it has that description of exactly what it is. In the APH acreage section here, you have all of your quick functions, your accuracy function, function your SIMS, and your perennial PAW. Over here in the policy information, you have your pass info where you can look up your errors on your policy and the policy errors. Now, these two used to have icons that were really similar, so I really like the fact that we've changed the icon for the pass information and we've made it larger. We have our notes and our policy uh, PHTS and our written agreement wizard. Now, if the policy wasn't endorsed out like it is, you would have access to the easy hail and the supplemental policies from here as well. And the easy quote is really nice because now it goes directly into a quote for this particular policy. We've also sectioned off the policy crop screen into the insured area down here. We have the authorized assign, assignment of indemnity, all of those types of actions down here. And you'll see the little magnifying glass with the piece of paper. That indicates that there's another window behind it. So if you click on that, then you can add your authorized assign or any, any other action that you want to do in that area. And if you have an authorized assign or an assignment of indemnity, that name will show up next to the title as well. The policy details, of course, some of this information comes in from the application, but if you're an underwriting user, you can, you'll have access to some of the other actions as well. The policy status, that's one nice little change is that we now have the policy status right here in the middle of the screen instead of down here on the, on the lower bar of the window. And you can see that we still have a lot of information down here with your work in progress view, your status of the easy, if your policy's been mapped and if it's been entered in easy mapping. It also tells you that you have uh, no longer farming units and they are hidden at this point. It gives you your last process and your process date down here as well, where before it used to be up on the top of the policy. Your FCIC status is down here in the middle, which is kind of front and center, really, really nice. It'll also show you your related policies. If I had a name peril or an easy hail policy here, it would also show those policy numbers. And this is a direct link to the, to the other policy. It also gives you the status of that policy as well. So if I click on that policy, it will pull up the temporary policy that we have. It gives you the status there again. And if you're an underwriting user, you can activate the policy from within the endorsement area as well. The nice thing about this change that we've done is that now we have the ability to move policies between screens. So if you're looking at companion policies, you can just slide this policy over to your other screen and you can look at each policy side by side. Now if I have both of these policies endorsed out and I click the X, so I'm going to endorse this policy out as well. If I click the X, it will tell me that I have to commit 
defer or cancel this policy, this endorsement before I can, before I can close the window. And it'll do that on any windows that you have open um, in edit mode. As you can see, we have the agency information over on the right hand side. Now, if I was looking at this with a bigger monitor, this financial information would be on the right of the agency information. But for this recording I'm using a laptop so it it moves all of that information down here to the bottom of this section and you have to use your scroll bar to go look at all of that information but normally you would be able to see this financial information up here on the on the right now let's take a look at some of the other tabs that we have too we've kept the the home tab up here because we went through all of those sections but we also have a documents tab which gives you access to your your policy document manager and all of your preliminary documents it has a claims and financial tab if there's a claim on the policy or you have access to the that information as your user you will have these icons enabled and the office use is really for our internal or our, our office personnel to use these icons and do those functions. And the nice thing too is that it doesn't matter which tab you're on, you can always keep working on this information in the main grid here. So I, I really like that feature as well. Let's move down to the coverage area of the window right now. You'll see that you still have the same functions, add, view edit cancel change they have different icons but that's just our new look and feel the one thing that we did is we did move this change log button down to a better organizational structure and have it close to the coverages because that's what it shows so say you were wondering when this corn coverage was added you go into the change log and it tells you exactly when when and who made the change all right looking at the coverage grid You'll notice right here on the right hand side is we have a color chip that shows you that this is an SEO coverage and it has an underlying colored line under the grid for that coverage as well. This is just to indicate to you that that's, that's your SEO line. All right, let's pop over to our acreage APH tab. Once again, the look and feel is, is really the same the functionality behind everything is all the same too but we've added some really neat features to this window as well you can filter out by crop if you just want to look at one particular crop you can also do a secondary sort if you had winter and spring weed on this policy so that you only saw the winter coverage as well and here again it shows you the color ship for the SEO additional line and the underlying color on the grid line. It also lets you know with the little lock symbol that this unit is not editable. Now you can change your filter back by either resetting your grid preferences with a right click or you can clear your preferences on the very bottom of the grid as well. We also have a column chooser that you can add columns to your, your preference. Say you wanted to add your crop code, you just drag and drop that from your column chooser over and the little blue arrows will show you where it's gonna put it in the grid. And now you've added the crop code to your preference. Now, if you were to save this policy and that was the only policy you had open, those grid preferences would stay. So you'd have to either clear them out the next time you went into the policy or the next time you went in, it would, it would have the crop code as in the grid as well. Also, if you wanna take it out again, you just have to drag it and drop it back into the column chooser. Or once again, you can reset your grid options with the right click option. All right, our APH database, one, once again, all of the functionality still there. No differences there. The differences are, once again, in the look and the icons for the add, delete, combine, all of that kind of stuff. We have the option to show the no longer farming units and then 
with this layout, the way that the size of this window, I have to scroll down to see them, but there's my no longer farming units. And I can hide them again, just as easy. A really nice feature that they've added to the APH database is that you can hover over this icon for the written agreement. If there's a written unit agreement, it gives you all the information right there. It also has the extended APH view, so if you click on that, then you get your adjusted yield, your rate yield, your previous yield, all of those kind of things all in the row alongside the, the database. Following through with the same type of organizational structure, we've, we've added a color chip for the line or the year that has a loss on it with a, a red color chip and an underlying red line on the grid. And also we've added the blue one for a year that has had uh, an audit on it. We do have a new icon for the TA calculation window that we recently added. So if you click on this little informational icon right here, it pulls up a new window that shows you all of the, uh, the TA calculations and how they were determined. Our right side for our acreage has not changed at all. We have a little different icon for our locations window. And we still have our calculation, our RMA calculation values that you can pull up and, and print those out if you would choose. One thing that we haven't covered yet is we do have all of these little icons at the top too. And what they do is we've given you access to when you're in this policy, you can always go back to your Easy Writer Today screen by hitting this little icon with the arrow next to it. What that does is it takes you to the main screen, but it still leaves that policy open. So you can do any of these other, you can access any of these other menu items. The one next to the Easy Writer that takes you back to the Easy Writer Today screen is our MPCI policy search. If you get a phone call and you need to look up a new policy, you can do that right from there. And we also wanted to give you a quick access to our policy documents as well so that you didn't always have to flip back to the Documents tab. This little icon at the top will access the policy documents as well. One thing that I failed to mention earlier that I wanted to call out as well is this expand button down here. If you have a policy that has a, a, a large amount of crops on it and say you're using a laptop like I am today, you can hit the expand and you'll see you'll be able to see a lot more coverages without having to scroll. And then you can collapse it back down and you'll see the, the regular view. And that is all of the changes that we've made to our policy editor. Thank you for listening to our demonstration today and have a great day.